Hi, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing a complete guide to ABRSM online theory exam for grade 1 to grade 5. Starting from January 2021, ABRSM has fully converted the theory exam from grade 1 to grade 5 to online format through the RP Now proctoring software, allowing the exam to be done on demand at any suitable location for the candidates. For the device to be used in the exam, only computers, it can be desktop or laptop with webcam and microphone can be used. Candidate cannot use phone or tablet. Also note that candidates should not use VPN. The exam can be conducted at any suitable venue for candidates as long as there is a computer, internet connection, and a quiet, well-lit environment. The exam room should not have open books or any musical notes depiction. If there is a piano, the keyboard should be covered. The duration for the exam for grade 1 to 3 is 90 minutes and grade 4 to 5 will be 120 minutes. You have to prepare 15 to 30 minutes to complete the exam setup. The exam registration can be done via ABRSM website. The registration via teacher or school. The applicant can be the music teacher or music school. They have to fill in the candidate's email address during registration. The candidates will then receive an email providing a link to create ABRSM candidate ID for exam access. Candidates will have 28 days from the registration date to complete the exam. It may take up to 3 hours for the exam to show up in the account dashboard. For self-registered candidates, the procedure remains the same. They will need a separate applicant ID and candidate ID even if they are registered under the same name. The exam can only be accessed via the candidate ID. For pre-exam preparation, you should run system check to ensure your device is compatible with proctoring software. You may also try out the online practice exams on ABRSM website. The links can be found in the description box. For the candidates below 18 years old, a responsible adult aged 18 and above must be present to accompany the candidates and assist them with the exam setup if needed. For individual candidates, the responsible adult must be present in the room at the beginning of the exam and can stay in the exam room for the duration of the assessment if desired. For multiple candidates, the responsible adult must be present for the whole exam. The items to prepare for the exam includes a photo ID, which can be IC, passport, driving license, or a candidate identification form. They should prepare blank papers, it can be plain or manuscript papers, a computer, desktop or laptop, and a good internet connection, and also the laptop charger. Here are the steps for the exam setup and we will be going through each of them in details shortly. Step 1. Log into your ABRSM account and click Start Music Theory Exam. Step 2. The RP Now software will be downloaded and launched. Step 3. Show your photo ID. Step 4. Room scan. Step 5. Take a candidate's picture. And step 6. After you're done with the exam, tear up your draft papers in front of the camera. We'll go into details with each step. So for the first step, the candidate should log into the candidate's ABRSM account and click Start Music Theory Exam on dashboard. The download will automatically start for RP Now proctoring software that candidates need for the exam. Even if you already have the software installed previously, it's recommended to uninstall it and follow the step above to ensure the latest version is being used for assessment. Make sure all softwares, apps, and programs are closed. Step 2. Install the RP Now software according to the instructions on screen. Once the software has launched, candidates have 3 hours to complete the setup, which will take 15 to 30 minutes, and the assessment. 
Step 3. Show the candidate's photo ID, which can be my card, passport, or driving license, to the camera, and ensure it can be seen clearly within the box given. My kit is not accepted as it doesn't contain photo of candidate. Alternatively, candidates can fill in a candidate identification form attached with a passport size photo for verification. The download link will be given in the description box. Here is an example of the step 3. For step 4, they have to perform a 360 degree room scan including the desk space. Ensure that the room is free of mobile phones, open books, and a musical notes depiction, which can be posters. If there is a piano, the keyboard should be covered. Also, show the blank papers front and back to ensure no notes are written on them. For venues hosting multiple candidates, they must say to the camera, I'm sitting the exam with other candidates and the responsible adult is present. If your computer does not allow a 360 degree room scan, you can use a mobile phone or digital camera, then play this footage back to the webcam. Make sure you watch the entire playback of the room scan or you will not be able to proceed to the next step. Here's a demonstration of the room scan. Do this room scan, scan um, um, because it's, it's quite, quite a young, young candidate, candidate. It's, it's a bit easier if I do it, isn't it? So we're going to take out the things from the side of the laptop that we don't need. And then we're going to click the button, start room scan. Now we need to show the proctor here. So that's the person reviewing the video after the exam, exactly what is in the exam room. So you can see very clearly here, it's very important that we see the desk or the surface area the candidate's working on, whether you're working on a desk or on a table or, um, or even some people sort of work on their laps. We just need to see the entire area surrounding the candidate. So we can see the desk there very clearly. Now we can see in front of the desk, there's nothing on the wall, no, so that's on the wall there. So that's the area beyond the laptop where the laptop's going to be and the wall at the side there. We're also going to go around here and just check the other side of that room. Now there is a piano there, but the lid is closed and there's no musical notation on show. She's going to go back to the candidate. We're just moving really slowly around the room, checking there's nothing there on her lap or anything. And she's got her blank paper in her hand, which she's now going to show to the camera. So we just need to see that blank paper, please. If you show it up to the camera, that's it, both sides. Both sides of that paper, that's it. And the next piece. So that's the blank manuscript paper on the other side of that one. Just checking there's nothing on there. That's great. And the, finally, the candidate ID form, but just show there's nothing on the back of that one. That's the ID form there. So once you've shown all of that, we can click Stop Room Scan. Step five. Take the candidate's picture on screen. Make sure the candidate's face is within the white box on the screen and the lighting is suitable so we can see the image clearly. Step 6. From this point on, the session will be recorded, including the desktop, webcam and audio until the exam window is closed at the end of the exam. Candidates proceed with the theory exam assessment. Throughout the exam, candidates must remain in view of the camera whenever possible. After submitting the answers, tear up any paper used in the exam in front of the camera. And they can then close the software and the recording will be stopped. Moving on to the technical support, if you encounter any issues, click Contact Support in the RPNA Proctoring software. You can also refer to the troubleshooting PDF for multiple common issues. The download link will be given in the description box. It's also recommended to prepare another laptop or desktop as a backup. On the malpractice behavior, there's no cheating or any form of malpractice is allowed in the exam. If ABRSM finds that malpractice has been committed, the candidate may be disqualified. Let's talk about some other issues that we should take note. Drinks are allowed in the exam and a transparent container is recommended. The candidate is allowed to have only one toilet break, maximum five minutes. 
then we need to inform the proctor by seeing it in front of the camera or write on a piece of paper and show it to the camera. The exam recording should continue during this time. About the result and certificate, the results will be released and can be checked via ABRSM account four weeks after the exam after it's being reviewed. The certificates will be posted to the addresses provided during registration. The candidates with special needs or access arrangements will be given extra time to complete the exam or request a physical paper. They must specify it during registration. If candidates will need a physical paper, it must be specified and selected during registration. The candidates should provide address which the paper will be sent to and the supporting documents to this email address access coordinator at abrsm.ac.uk. They will receive an email containing the link to download RPNOW proctoring software. On the day of the exam, they should run the exam setup and the envelope containing exam paper should be sealed and unopened before the exam. After completing the exam, the paper should be sealed into the return envelope and sent back to ABRSM. All information is correct by the date of publication. In the event of any discrepancies or inconsistency, ABRSM's information shall prevail. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.